In ancient times, human beings were raw and ate meat, fish and vegetables. But now that humans can use fire, when I started farming 10,000 years ago, humans stopped eating raw. And uh, stop. The explanation is too old. Hi, I'm Bailech. I did history of soy sauce in the previous video. Sashimi is also related to the history of soy sauce. That's right. Sashimi does not have such a long history. Let's see the continuation. It is called sashimi. Basically, all fish that are cut into pieces for eating raw are called sashimi. Food that looks like that is sometimes called sashimi. The meaning of kanji is pierce and pin, and body and meat. Originally, it should be expressed as cut meat. The word cut. It is not used because it is unlucky because it is associated with seppuku, which is a method for Japanese people to cut their stomachs and commit suicide. There are various other words to avoid it. The word sashimi is commonly used. The etymology of sashimi is. I don't know what kind of fish it is when it's made into sashimi. The predominant theory is that the tail of the fish stuck in the pin indicates what kind of fish it is. Even in Japan today, to show the freshness of fish, there is still a way to provide a moving fish head and tail with a pin. So, it is considered to be a highly reliable theory. History of Sashimi In various parts of the world since ancient times BC habit of eating raw seafood and meat there is. It has conditions. In order to live in the coastal areas of the sea, it is possible to eat fresh seafood. Or because we live in a very cold area, fish and meat can be frozen and sterilized and stored outdoors. It was limited to areas that cleared the hygiene problem. Japan is an island country surrounded by the sea, so it is thought that there were more areas where seafood was eaten raw than in other countries. Still, it was limited to the coastal areas, eating raw fish was not common. Besides, in the days when salt and miso were the main seasonings, it was limited to sashimi such as some fish with no peculiar taste such as white fish. In other words, I don't eat it because there is no seasoning that matches the ingredients and it is not delicious. Summary in the coastal areas of Japan, it was customary to eat sashimi depending on some fish species. It means that sashimi is not common in Japan as a whole. And around the 4th 5th centuries from China, I learned how to make vinegar as well as how to make liquor. Vinegar around this time is a luxury item exclusively for aristocrats. Vinegar can be used not only as a seasoning, but also for sterilization and storage, so inland aristocrats can now eat sashimi soaked in vinegar. The current capital of Japan is Tokyo, the capital of Japan in the old days was Kyoto, and before that it was Nara. Both capitals were inland. It's just that the aristocrats are now able to eat once in a while. Then, in the 17th century, the capital of Japan moved to Edo, that is, what is now Tokyo. In front of the capital city Tokyo eyes, the sea has spread. By this time, vinegar has become popular. And at the end of the 17th century, soy sauce was also commonly used. This revolutionized sashimi as well as Japanese cuisine. Soy sauce has a deodorant effect and has the effect of eliminating the fishy odor of fish. The mellow flavor and rich taste to soy sauce itself it goes best with sashimi. As a result, in some coastal areas around Tokyo, various fish are now eaten as sashimi. That's right. It's a part. The way to eat sashimi is not common, and because there is no refrigerator. However, in order to convey the deliciousness of this sashimi to many people various ideas have been made. That is soy sauce pickles. This is a method of soaking sashimi in a liquid that is a mixture of soy sauce and vinegar, or a liquid that is a mixture of soy sauce and a sweet seasoning such as sugar. As a result, it is seasoned just right and can be preserved. Around this time, sushi was born at a food stall. As a result, sashimi and sushi became popular throughout Japan. Then, in modern times, refrigerators will be introduced. However, it was not until the 1970s that each household had a refrigerator. Around this time, the current sashimi that is not soaked in anything is becoming more common. That's right. The history is not old, but soy sauce appeared in Japan, as I started to eat raw fish gradually, Japanese people could eat sashimi without any resistance, this is because we know that sashimi is delicious even before refrigerators became widespread in every household. And the Japanese pursuit of its deliciousness does not stop. Freezers are also popular, but Japanese people rarely use it for the purpose of freezing sashimi. Because of the expansion caused by freezing water this is because the cells of the fish are broken and the taste is lost. Previously, 
Sashimi was translated as raw fish in English and was misunderstood, today, sushi is becoming more common in the world, and sashimi is also becoming known. Except for Japan and some countries because it is common to freeze fish once for hygiene by sterilization I think it's a surprise, basically, it does not freeze fish caught around Japan. Distribution of fish Fisheries in the waters near Japan load ice on ships. It's a freezer for making this ice. And as soon as you take the fish, put it in the ice. In this way, the fish are kept fresh without freezing. Since this is a matter of course rather than anything special in Japan, captured fish is not that expensive. Then, it is traded at the fish market in each town's harbor. Here, both sellers and buyers are authorized and professional. Unauthorized traders and the general public cannot trade. Here, the freshness of the fish is checked and it will also be decided whether to send it to a market in another town. And the fish traded here, once again, restaurants, retailers, and supermarkets trade to double-check fish. Then, the fish bought here are transported to each shop by a dedicated refrigerated truck. That's right. In Japan, between catching a fish and reaching the consumer fish there is little to be a normal temperature. There are about 100 cases of food poisoning caused by fish in Japan every year, which is almost non-existent. It is overwhelmingly less than in other countries. So don't worry. In Japan, we eat raw chicken eggs as a matter of course, because it's delicious. Because of its deliciousness, Japan has a surprising distribution method similar to sashimi. I'll talk about that in another video. Sashimi Cuisine Fish are roughly divided into white meat fish and red meat fish. White meat fish are rocky fish in the sea, so they do not move much. With less movement, it does not require iron to carry oxygen, which makes the meat whiter. White meat fish often have a light taste and hard meat, so if you want to make sashimi, slice the meat into thin slices. It's like this. And puffer fish is famous for white meat fish. Many puffer fish are known to be highly poisonous, in Japan, we eat this because it's delicious. But don't worry. No one has died from this poison in recent years. That's because you need a license or conditions to handle puffer fish. Therefore, I rarely eat puffer fish at home. And especially in Tokyo, this regulation is strict. Still, there are some shops that sell puffer fish. Because it's delicious. Speaking of puffer fish, it is famous to slice the meat so thin that it can be seen through. Red fleshed fish are fish that move around and travel long distances. Because it moves well and requires oxygen, it has a lot of iron and the meat turns red. Red meat fish have a strong taste and tender meat. Small red meat fish rot quickly, so it is common for some fish species to be roasted only on the surface. And tuna is famous for its red meat fish. Tuna is the most popular sashimi in Japan, and so is sushi. The tuna belly meat called choro is especially popular, but it is very expensive. By the way, the salmon that everyone is familiar with is a white fish. You want to say it's not white because it's orange, right? The reason why natural salmon is orange is this is because they feed on crustaceans such as shrimp and crabs. Therefore, it will be white depending on the food. Most of the salmon you eat are farmed, salmon, so that the orange color of the meat, you just have bait is adjusted. Shrimp, this is also popular. Squid, squid is hard meat, so in addition to cutting it into thin slices, it is also eaten by cutting it like noodles. And the octopus. That's right. I eat octopus in Japan. It is nutritious and popular. Octopus has a rubber-like texture, so it is common to boil it before eating. Also eat sliced sashimi octopus. And shellfish. In Japan, various shellfish are also eaten as sashimi. By the way, the reason why Japanese people started to eat oyster is it is said to be the influence of Europe, which originally had a culture of eating oyster. Besides, in Japan, Horses are also eaten as sashimi. There are various names for sashimi, the notation atsukuri is often used in restaurants. In this way, sashimi in the state of still living fish is often written as tsukuri.
刺身についてはまだ言いたいことはありますが次回は寿司の動画をやりますのでこの辺で See ya!